President's Council Nishank Nanakara has been appointed as the new chairman of Litrogas. Issuing a media release, the Ministry of Public Enterprise Development noted that the appointment was made by the chairman of Sri Lanka Insurance, Hemaka Amarasuria. Sri Lanka Insurance is the principal shareholder of Litrogas. President's Council Nishank Nanakara takes up the position after the former chairman, Shalila Munasingha, was stripped of the position when he was placed in remand custody. Newly appointed Nishank Nanayakara is the current legal secretary of the United National Party and a close associate of the UNP leadership. The release by the Ministry of Public Enterprise Development also noted that Nilu Vijay Dasa has been appointed to the newly created position of Executive Director of Sri Lanka Insurance. Based on a directive by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Management, the Ministry of Public Enterprise Development has issued instructions to annul the positions of Joint Managing Director and establish a new position, the Executive Director. Joint Managing Directors of Sri Lanka Insurance, Aruna Sirivardhana and AMR Bansaja have stepped down from their posts. The release further notes that Sadi Dawood has been appointed as a Director of Sri Lanka Insurance. Anura Sirivardhana served as a Joint Managing Director of Sri Lanka Insurance and occupied a seat on the Board of Directors for Litrogas. There are questions being raised with regard to the 2017-2018 gas tender and the procedures adopted. Charges are being levelled that Oman Trading, which is a state institution of Oman, was overlooked in the tender process although it had passed the tender criteria. The tender was eventually offered to Shell Gas. Civil activists notes that since Oman Trading is a state institution of Oman, Sri Lanka government could have negotiated a better deal with them. During a Litro Board of Directors meeting held on the 17th of August, Director Aruna Sirivardhana had raised a number of issues with regard to the transaction. Reports note that he had even been annoyed by the fact that board members had been excusing themselves from the meeting to answer frequent phone calls. Sri Lanka Insurance is the principal shareholder of Litrogas and in turn Sri Lanka Insurance comes under the purview of the Minister of Public Enterprise Development, Kabir Hashim. Charges are being levelled that a personal secretary of the minister, who is also a relative, had intervened in the gas deal. Incidentally, Minister Kabir Hashim was called before the Bond Commission recently. Two employees from Perpetual Treasuries Limited were questioned at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry. Sufik Farzan reports on Bondgate. The chief dealer of Perpetual Treasuries Limited, Nuan Salgado, was cross-examined by President's Council Karlinga in the Tissa today. Now, in response to questions, Nuan Salgado said the document that he produced yesterday was recovered from his desktop computer and he deleted the original from the computer in mid-2015. President's counsel Karlinga in the Tissa went on to point out to the commission that CAR or CAR actually refers to the purchase of a Toyota FJ Cruiser Jeep to the tune which is valued of 11 million rupees. He also produced documentation to prove that. He went on to then say that the payments recorded under the code name Charlie are in fact payments made by Perpetual Treasuries Limited to its group companies Perpetual Capital Private Limited, Perpetual Asset Management Private Limited and WM Mendis and Co. Now today when the proceedings were going on, Justice Prasanna Jayavardhana said that at a morning program today, a person claiming to be a television advocate had made false and inaccurate and incorrect statements about the process that is taking place. Justice Prasanna Jayavadana said that the Commission is carefully considering these comments and will be uh, considering taking action in the near future. He said that would be discussed later on, but there was no discussion, however, during the course of the proceedings today. Nuan Salgado today stood by his affidavit and said all the information that he has mentioned in the affidavit are true. He said the code name Charlie was only referred to the point person of contact at the Employees Provident Fund. He said from July 2014 to December uh, 2014 and until March 2015, he used this document to record all the payments that he was instructed to record by Kasun Palisena, the Chief Executive Officer of Perpetual Treasuries Limited. Nuan Salgado said that because 
this document was maintained by him under the instructions of Qasim Pali Sena in a very secret manner. He strongly believed that these were payments that were being made to PTL informants for providing sensitive information regarding the markets and the prices in relation to government securities. Luan Salgado said that Charlie always refers to the Employees Provident Fund. And from 2014 to 2015, it was Udaya Seelan who was the point person of contact at the EPF and thereafter it was Saman Kumara. Meanwhile, a dealer at Perpetual Treasuries Limited by the name of Kaushita Ratnavira also testified today. Now he said that at some occasions Kasun Pal Sena would instruct him to collect a cheque from the accountant at WM Mendes & Co. Thereafter, he is instructed to cash that cheque and bring the money back to Perpetual Treasuries Limited. Kaushita Ratnavira said that when he brings it back to Perpetual Treasuries Limited, he hands it over to Kasun Pali Sena, but he does not know what happens to the money thereafter. President's Council Anuj Prahmaratna, appearing for WM Mendes & Co. as well as Arjun Aloysius said, the directors and shareholders of private limited companies have the right to withdraw money from the companies as and when they please as long as the money is not used for illegal purposes. At this point, Kaush Ratnavira said that he hoped that the money that he brought in was not used for illegal purposes. Meanwhile, Arjun Aloysius was present at the Supreme Court today for a case pertaining to Perpetual Treasuries Limited. The fundamental rights petition filed by Perpetual Treasuries Limited owner Arjun Aloysius seeking the cancellation of the monetary board directive which suspended the license for PTL to operate as a primary dealer was taken up today. The petition will be taken up for consideration again on the 19th of October. Today the petition was taken up before the bench comprising of Chief Justice Priyasad Depp and Justice Priyanta Javardana. Attorney at law Garmini Marapana appearing for the petitioner said the names of the respondents in the petition need to be substituted. Considering the application, the justices permitted the petitioners to make the amendments. The petitioners pointed out to the Supreme Court the fundamental rights have been violated as the monetary board had decided to suspend Perpetual Treasuries Limited's license to operate as a primary dealer without a just investigation and without calling for explanations. They requested court to issue an interim order to suspend the decision taken by the monetary board until a decision is made on the petition. The Governor of the Central Bank, the three Deputy Governors, the Monetary Board and the Attorney General have been named as the respondents in the case.